G'day. Now today I'm flying solo with the Dog The Boys Report and I'm just gonna do one story. And it's from Tim from Orange, said that his mate James was around with the boys, having a few beers, getting on the VBs, and uh, he went missing. And they went looking for him after they found him, he was off with his missus. They got him back, and then about half an hour later, his missus went running off, and uh, Tim then found his missus. No, not Tim, Tim. James then found his missus in bed with another man. Yeah, I know, it's fucking brutal. And he done the right thing. He dumped her, he got rid of her, he went back to the boys, and he got on the piss. Until half an hour later, she comes back around this too old thing. Oh, I didn't mean to, it didn't happen, and all this shit. He then believes her, goes home, and he fucks her. And he dogs the boys. And um, this is a tough one. This is a tough one because this situation where Sheila cheats on a bloke with a man, I've got to put it into, it's a tough situation, but I can tell you how the Dubbo, Aussie, Bogan, classic kind of fucking country man, uh, his theory on this, and, and this, how, this is how it goes for me, right? If you're in the country, you're in the bush and you've got a missus, you're pretty lucky, because there's not many good sorts around, and the ones that are good sorts are related to you, and you're not meant to admit that, but you can say it in a Facebook video, because I'm joking. I am joking, by the way. Anyway, getting on with the story. Look, my missus cheats on me all the time. She's always running around town, hooking up with flakes, you know, getting cock up, and I'm always like, oh, I catch her quite often, and I say, oi, what are you doing? You having sex with another man again, aren't you? And she's like, eh, yeah, fuck you. But you know what I do every time it happens? I take her home, and I fuck her. And when I fuck her, I think, I hope I fuck her better than old mate down the road fucks her. The difficulty of the challenge can vary depending on the physical ability of your opponent. We don't get a lot of NBA players out here in Dubbo, but if you come up against one of them as an opponent, it's quite tough. But if you can pull it off, it's a great feeling. I'd recommend this to any couple in their 70s or 80s that are probably gonna die soon. If your wife, Gloria, cheats in with Jerry up the road and you catch him having a bit of The best way to go about it is to just take her home give her a good pounder and you think, you know what, I hope I gave her a better pounder than Jerry did up the road. And um, if you can pull it off, it's just think of the feeling when you get to sit there, when, when your wife passes away, you sit in the front row at the funeral and you look at that coffin and you can see that body inside the coffin and you think, there's been a lot of cocks in that pussy, but none better than the cock that I put in that pussy. And uh, little things like in life like that are, are just nice to have. Sorry, but Mick's away for work right now, so he couldn't do the report tonight, but if you found any of that information useful, uh, you're fucked. Anyway, have a good one. I've just contradicted every video I've ever done. Don't dog the boys. Unless you're in your 70s or your 80s and your wife's just been cheating on you, then it's acceptable. Apart from that, don't do it.